kids are really cute up here. They are so cute. I asked her, I said, how are you? And she said, I am good. <laughs> she was so cute. Yeah. from an extremely cold day seven of like to Everest Base Camp. We've actually been struggling a little bit this morning because well, last night I had a pretty bad headache. I think it was mainly because of my sinuses though and I'm sick. Dan woke up this morning with a bad headache. So he, we also think it's sinuses for him too because we're both sick, but um, we both took half a pill of acetazolamide just in case because we are getting some high elevation today, so yeah. yeah. The thermometer outside of our tea house this morning said negative 20 Celsius, so negative three Fahrenheit. If that's true, I mean, I don't know. It's freezing out, so could be. <laughs> but we're only going higher, so it's gonna get colder. <sighs> but we have a big elevation gain again today. One important thing I didn't mention about it being so cold is that the tea houses, all the rooms, don't have any heat. So it's freezing in the rooms. We each have a negative 20 degrees Celsius sleeping bag and we get a comforter at night. So last night we got a little chilly, but getting out of the sleeping bag in the morning is the worst part. We're ready for the sun to hit us. All right, one of Maddie's worst fears up here, another suspension bridge. But it brings us into the sunlight. So and like a buttload of staircases. <laughs> All right, here we go. For that break? Yeah, I think so. I think I just need to get my mental state up. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> are stopping for a tea break. We didn't have our tea this morning for breakfast. So we're like an hour and a half into hiking. We've been drinking a lot of lemon ginger honeys just because we've been sick. And it just feels so good on your hands. <laughs> the kids are really cute up here. They are so cute. I asked her, I said, how are you? And she said, I am good. <laughs> she was so cute. Yeah. She's back. <laughs> Ready? Say hi. Okay, we just got done taking our tea break. We sat there probably for a good hour. Yeah. <laughs> but we also got to play with the that local little girl. She was so cute. Yeah, she was. Taught her what a fist bump was. Yep. But she actually spoke English, which was like really impressive. Yeah, a little She's bit. She's really young. Like probably like two or three. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's very nice. But now we are back to hiking. I think we got a few hours left, but it's a lot of uphill, I think. Again, 
Uh, we did our half a tablet of cetazolamide this morning. He's really kicking his butt. Um, it's a diuretic, so it makes you pee. And Dan has literally stopped like five times to pee. <laughs> We're stopping for a lunch break right now. The view is literally insane. Like, I, the higher we go up, just the crazier the views get. But um, feeling good right now. I was not feeling good earlier. Like, I think I was having a lot of side effects from the medication that we took, and I think it's a little bit wearing off now. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're taking it pretty slow today. So this is our second stop of the day. And our tea stop was like an hour like I said so this will probably be like an hour again but there's no point in rushing to the tea house when we're gonna get there at 2 p.m. anyways so we'll enjoy our lunch I got some um, spaghetti in garlic sauce <laughs> that's what we it smells good not the most flavorful thing I've ever eaten no. I need some salt. Is it okay? Yeah, it's fine. I can salt. I'm waiting for my fried potatoes and a fried egg to come out. But we're really hungry and we moved inside the tea house because it got a little chilly outside. About two more hours of trekking and then we'll be to our town for two nights for an acclimation day, which is super exciting. Exciting. And here is the desert. Yeah. yeah. Here's the barren landscapes that we're waiting to get. Yep. I'm ready to get behind this mountain so the wind stops. <laughs> it's a little bit colder up here than it was down there. We've definitely made it above the tree line now and it's kind of just like exposed and windy. Kind of like it a little bit though because we're not sweating too bad, but it is much windier up here. But we should be getting there within the next two hours, hour and a half, something like that. Taking another break. It's a slow ascent, but it gets to you after a minute. So we're just going at our snail speed still. <laughs> Pam. It is my fault we're going at a snail speed. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. It's better to take it safe than sorry. You should always go at the slowest person's pace. I'd rather be sorry than safe. We're on our way. We can't see Dingbuche. We thought we would. Clouds are really rolling in. Feeling good though, like, feeling good, out of breath, but good. <laughs> I don't know if Pam is feeling the same way. How are you feeling, Dan? Headaches are starting to melt. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. I don't feel I could do too much more elevation, though. Right. Yep. We're looking forward to this acclimation day tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. All great. right. All right, ready to knock Let's it out? Do it. Let's go. Do it. I can see Dingbuche from here. We're so close. Pretty exciting to see the town at the end of the day every day. It's chilly. It is cold. Ready? Yeah. Oh, you can see it. You're lying. <laughs> oh. Oh, there it is. Wow. <laughs> this is so hard. De Buche. <sighs> <laughs> what do you guys say to Ding Buche? 
I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> you better have a good apple pie. <laughs> We have made it into a tea house. It is 500 for the room for the three of us, so price is pretty good. It's really warm in the tea, or tea house room though, so that is nice. And there's Western toilets. We'd love to see that. Is it okay? Lovely. Oh yeah. It's warm, warm in here. here. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I can, you know, I mean, I will send power here. You can charge you. Okay? Oh, okay, thank perfect. you so much. All right. So um, he gave us a room with two beds. This bed honestly looks really tiny, um, but we don't move much in our sleep in our sleeping bags anyways. But he did immediately look at the camera when we asked about charging and said that he was going to give us free charging, which is like not a thing up here so yeah the camera would be about 800 rupees yeah so it's insane so yeah it's really warm in here too so oh also they're making us eat here oh the bed's actually the bed's actually comfortable too wow <coughs> i love i love doing buche all right so we finally made it here and we're pretty tired so we're gonna end it here we're gonna catch you tomorrow tomorrow's an acclimation day which we love yeah. So, catch you tomorrow while we do an acclimation hike. All right. See ya. Woo.